birds singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. Oh, your life, you were only waiting for this moment to arise. Jerry Creason was not always in my life. In fact, he was only there for maybe 10 years. But in that amount of time, he taught me things he could have never known were possible. And his life made a lasting impression on mine I will never forget. But let's start at the beginning. When my mom first met Jerry, it wasn't love at first sight. In fact, she had known the tall, burly man with curly hair down to his shoulders for years before there was even thought of romance between them. But after splitting with my dad, Jerry helped her to find an apartment and settle into the single life he too was accustomed to at the time. And throughout this process, he would drop her not-so-subtle hints of his affection for her, sending her flowers, chocolates, and loving her daughters unconditionally, even though he had already raised two kids but my mom wasn't quite ready yet. But love finds a way in any way that it can. And in this case, it wiggled its way into my family through the dryer. One day, my mom was working around the house doing her normal business, and she heard a noise coming from the dryer. She went to investigate, but couldn't quite place what it was, but it was something she'd never heard before. So she called Jerry to come and investigate himself. Being the handyman that he was, he quickly came to the rescue, assessed the situation, and without reservation, stuck his hand through the dryer into the wall and pulled out one dead bird and one live bird. And oddly enough, it was at that moment, my mom realized, this man will make your life easier, not harder. He's a good guy, and you shouldn't let him get away. And Jerry took good care of our little family of three. He loved us, protected us, and always made sure we stayed out of trouble, even going as far as to always take those knives whenever we got that little bundle of silverware at a restaurant. But love doesn't always show itself the way that you think it will, or the way that you want it to. Jerry passed away eight years after marrying my mother, but I don't like to think of him that way. I remember him as the gentle giant and the caring man that he was. Being as young as I was, I couldn't have possibly understood what a blessing he was in my family until he wasn't there anymore. But our macho man had a heart of gold. And though you may not have seen it under the gruff mustache, he had a contagious laugh and an appetite for life. I like to think of him as a shooting star in my life that I can always wish on, or a blackbird, flying over the sky just long enough for you to see how beautiful it is. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Perhaps the most influential man in my life, though, is my grandpa, or my papa, as I like to refer to him. And to be honest, he probably didn't expect to be my papa. But when my biological grandfather died, he took my dad and his sister in and raised them as his own. And when my sister and I came along, he stepped up to be our grandpa. I'm incredibly blessed to have him in my life, to love, to play with as a child. I learned what a real man was from him. My papa is strong, brave, determined, and hardworking. But he's also loving, kind, and devoted. He has a big heart and a bigger faith than will help anybody who needs him. And over the years, I've come to think of him as the ultimate man. But sometimes I forget he was the boy once. He had fears and insecurities just like me. And when he opened up to me with a beautiful, incredibly human story of a moment he experienced, I knew not only was he the ultimate man, but he was also human. After high school, my grandpa decided that the military was his future. He told me that his large family would often joke and tease at the dinner table that they didn't expect Tommy home from war, and he wasn't coming home. And he tried not to think anything of it and brushed it off. But one day, while marching in a parade with his fellow soldiers, not long before leaving for Vietnam, he realized he actually might not 
come back, that this was actually happening. He was leaving. And amongst the clatter of that parade, my papa saw the fragility of life, and it made him even more of a man. choice for you, son. So, you want to join the military, son? Mama, I'm home. 